Today I'm gonna... <laughs> I startled coach. What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna talk about what my Mexican black king snake is like. So stick around if you want to find out. So uh, this is Tex. He's about two years old. I've had him in my other videos as well and he is very docile right now as you can see and this is pretty typical for when I handle him although it wasn't necessarily always the case. So Mexican black king snakes like other colubrid snakes tend to be a little bit more skittish and dirty when they're younger um, but I honestly I don't really remember him ever being super fast or super scared but he would definitely when I took him out of the cage spend kind of all of his time kind of like he's doing now sort of just trying to like get down to the ground i actually lost him like inside of the frame of my armchair one time because he just like slithered away in there and then he was gone it was too late um but i got him out don't worry he was definitely a little bit faster moving than he is now like he's quite slow right now um but even when he was a baby he was still like pretty mellow he was not um like defensive or aggressive with regards to his territory or anything um he was just like had the potential to be a little bit more intimidated by me coming in to grab him um, but he never defensively struck at me or anything like that he would just actually rattle his tail a little bit if he was feeling particularly stressed but when he was younger and moving around a little bit more handling him would kind of be more like you know continuously sort of pedaling him through my hands um, but now he's of a large enough size that like most of his body kind of stays wrapped around my hand and then he explores around with like the front half. Now for his behavior inside the cage, that's like honestly one of the most awesome parts of owning a diurnal colubrid snake. They're just crazy active inside their cage all the time. When he was a little baby, he was a little bit more shy, but he when he reached like about maybe a year and a half old or something like that. It was like all of a sudden he's totally confident being out in the open. He'll just like kind of sit out sort of under the heat or adjacent to it for like half an hour or something like kind of almost perfectly still. You know, I'll see him going from side to side in his enclosure and as it gets closer to feeding day, he's definitely more active. He'll explore every nook and cranny in his enclosure pretty much every day, often twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. And you know, for people who aren't familiar with keeping snakes, sometimes it's easy to interpret that as like, oh, the poor snake, like he feels trapped, he wants to escape his cage or whatever. He's actually really just looking for food. So like, he's exploring every possible area he can in the enclosure. And when he realizes there's no food in there, then he's looking for kind of a way to get out of where he is and kind of go a little bit farther afield to try to find food and when he kind of establishes in his little <laughs> snake brain that there's no other avenue that he can go for food then he kind of stops going around and just goes back in his hide. So the great thing about him being so active as well is that uh, he's really fit like he's really like firm bodied you can see I'm like squeezing and he like he's not like I don't know soft <laughs> it's hard to tell on video obviously but I feed this guy every uh, seven to ten days depending if it's a mouse or a rat but that that kind of keeps him happy and uh, he's active enough in his enclosure every day I'm not too worried about him getting overweight so the next thing is do king snakes bite short answer is yes unfortunately this was my first snake uh, and as like a first snake he was totally fine especially getting him as a young baby but I would recommend if a snake does have kind of a reputation for having a really strong feeding response or for being defensive, um, make sure you're getting them as a young baby um, because you can kind of learn that behavior when they're really small and they can't like hurt you at all in any way. <laughs> and then by the time they're bigger, it's like not a big deal. I have never taken a defensive bite from him, like a strike, which is basically when a snake is um, scared and wants you to leave them alone. So they act really intimidating and they'll lash out with their mouth wide open, just kind of like tag you, it's called, where they just sort of like attach on and then immediately pull back. So they don't even really bite down on you. They just are trying to intimidate you and then retreat as quickly as possible because they see you as a predator. And these bites like are, I guess, kind of scary, but they're honestly the easiest to deal with because your snake doesn't really injure you and he's not like biting down and staying on you, which is what happens when a snake interprets your fingers as 
food. <laughs> and this unfortunately has happened twice now with this guy. And both times uh, it was my fault basically and I've kind of learned from those experiences. <laughs> um, but so first of all, it's not a big deal when a snake this size bites you. The, uh, the second time he bit me was actually just yesterday. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks on my looks like on my finger. It's not focusing. How do I make it focus? You can kind of see. There's just kind of like little tiny pinpricks in the shape of a mouth on my finger. I'll insert a photo of what he was doing to me. Um, but basically what was happening is I actually had him completely out of the cage. So a lot of the time um, feeding response bites happen when you stick your hand in the cage and you're not paying attention. But I know that's a possibility so I'm always like very careful when I take him out of the cage. So I just go in like confidently and fairly quickly and grab him by the body and as soon as he feels me like lifting him up he knows what's happening and he doesn't try to bite me. But I had him out, I was handling him for maybe like 10 minutes or so before this happened. Um, so it definitely took me off guard, but um, it was a feeding day. I did feed him yesterday, which is why I'm pretty confident handling him right now. He was, I think, very much expecting food and I was in the process of thawing out frozen rodents. And like I had washed my hands in between, but it's possible there was still like remaining scent on there. And so I kind of came at him when, when he was sort of slithering away from me and I came at him kind of from behind and above, fairly close to his head. And I think that just, it startled him a little bit. And I don't think he like recognized that that movement was connected to the person that had just been handling him for the past 10 minutes. Of course, his initial like literally half a second later reaction to that was not fear, but it was, oh, well, it must be like a mouse, so I'm going to eat it. <laughs> um, which just goes to show the incredible feeding response of king snakes. Like, he didn't even think about that for one second. Like, he didn't, like, investigate his prey, like, figure out what was going, going on. It's really easy to tell when a snake is giving you a feeding response bite because they bite down and don't let go and then wrap all the way around whatever it is they're biting. So your hand or your finger or whatever. So basically, he sat there and he tried to kill my hand for a good, like, at least a minute, I don't really know. I tried to um, put his hand under running water, like cold water, but it wasn't really working and I wasn't comfortable doing that for very long. So basically I just waited it out. <laughs> Eventually he was convinced that he had killed my, my hand and he let go and I was able to prime him the rest of the way off and then unwrap his body and put him back in the enclosure. The moral of the story is, if you're going to get a kingsteak species, be prepared for the fact that at some point in their life, they will probably bite you. It's not a big deal. I recommend watching videos explaining snake bites. The YouTube channel Snake Discovery has a really nice video where Emily talks about the different reasons snakes can bite and then she actually is kind of the guinea pig and lets her snakes bite her. So like it's really it's not a big deal. It is just something to keep in mind though. Um, aside from yesterday the only other time that I have been bitten by him was also a feeding response bite. It's also when I was handling him but I had handled another snake that I have um, and I hadn't washed my hands in between, which in general you should probably wash your hands in between handling snakes. That time I just didn't um, and it was a mistake for a bunch of reasons because king snakes actually also eat other snakes in the wild. So I was literally handling him and he literally like just went right up to my thumb and sniffed it for a second and then just and then just like bit down. <laughs> so he must have thought, oh perfect, like a little thumb sized snake just for me. Oh, and then escapes. <laughs> so king snakes are crazy good at escaping their enclosures. This guy has escaped like at least three times. He actually escaped from a terrarium with a sliding lid and it was not like fully latched, I assume. Um, because even when I opened the terrarium the, the morning that I was checking on him, I didn't even notice that it wasn't fully closed at that point, but it must have just not been like completely latched shut um, because he was not in there. And so I looked around and he was about maybe like five meters away or so underneath my desk across the room. Basically, if you just like, oops, follow the baseboards from your snake's enclosure, kind of like around the room, you'll usually find them like not too far, so. Really active and fun to watch in the enclosure, interactive to handle. Be prepared to take a few bites over the course of, of owning this snake. Excellent feeding response. You'll never have to worry about this snake missing a meal. Crazy escape artist. Like a kid so funny.